Hey there! Uh, this is going to be a routing guide for Metroid Prime Rando. Uh, this time we're looking at uh, just the map. And we're not going to actually play through the seed, we're just going to explain the thinking process uh, to hopefully help you with your Rando routing decisions. Um, this way I can kind of slow down uh, the discussion and really focus on what I'm thinking about rather than also having to play the game. Uh, this is episode one. Uh, there's an episode zero out there somewhere that uh, is kind of like uh, the testing for this. Uh, I've hopefully improved the map a little bit. And uh, yeah, we're going to get started explaining a standard weekly seed. Uh, so we've got uh, the map here and uh, the majors are placed on it. And we're just going to go about what we would do in this situation and hopefully you can kind of take some pointers on what uh, my brain does as a, a router and racer trying to go fast. Uh, so like always we're gonna start at landing site and there's only gonna be two locations opened in these standard settings off the bat and that is alcove and hive totem and Alcove being behind us, we're obviously going to check that first. Um, and so every race will pretty much start with Space Jump first. We'll cross over to Alcove and pick up our Morph Ball. Uh, in the bottom left, we've got the tracker going. I have to update it manually, so um, give me a second while I find things. But we find Morph Ball. That's nice, because we can immediately check what's behind the ship right now. And uh, that will be what we're doing. So we come out here. And underneath the ship is a missile. We're going to grab it. And it's actually our logical missiles. Uh, so that's pretty interesting uh, to get that early. Uh, but now we know that all of our missile checks are in logic. And we can uh, kind of start prioritizing that as possibly our next uh, progression. Uh, for our next move, though, uh, while we're still morphed, we're going to roll down through this little tunnel and check frigate crash site immediately. Now this check isn't in logic, but this is a great time to check it. We just got morph and uh, missiles, and it might be a while till we um, work back to start to check this. So uh, you can visually inspect this and just get the information, or if you're adept at dashes or underwater slope jumps, you can get this item now. And it's nothing, uh, just an expansion, but if it's an early E-tank or power bomb, then fantastic, love to see it. Uh, we'll then be backtracking out and from here, we're going to climb up to Artifact Temple, and we're going to get our hints. Uh, please ignore uh, the vanilla items. <laughs> but uh, we get our hints, and I've got them written down here. Uh, we've got Ruined Gallery, Fendrana Shorelines, Gravity Chamber, Main Plaza. Right? Main Plaza? Yeah. <laughs> uh... Fiery Shores, and PMT. So, not bad artifacts, other than PMT, which basically guarantees that we're not finding our Phazon suit hint. Uh, so that's that can be kind of annoying, but what that leads me to believe with late uh, artifacts like that is there's a good chance it's going to be in mines. There's always a good chance Phazon suit's in mines, so when we get to that point, we might uh, just go through uh, since we don't have a hint, we might just push through. Uh, so anyways, back at Artifact Temple. Uh, we're now going to head back out. Head to Talon Canyon. And because our artifacts didn't say uh, there was an artifact in Transport Tunnel B, uh, we're going to go grab that now. If there is one, uh, like say this item is an artifact, uh, it's nice to leave this till later because we're probably going to route through here at some point. So you don't have to... Uh, go down root cave and then have to climb back up slowly NSJ but since it's not an artifact we are going to check this we head down and we get our morph ball bombs so glad to get that before heading into Chozo immediately turn around and head back up because we're definitely not going into Magmore and we head into Chozo uh, tried to draw some lines for where the elevators go so we can keep track if uh, you lose my mouse on screen uh, so with bombs now, we've got uh, quite a number of checks to do. Heading into main uh, plaza, we get a cutscene, which will reveal what this item is. Nothing. Um, 
we can also see what's in the half pipe. It's again, nothing important to us. Uh, we're going to head straight into uh, Ruin Shrine first. Uh, you can do a dash across to skip the beetle fight. And then we're going to, and actually before you do the dash, there's a good chance uh, NSJ, you can peek the item up here with a little slope off the half pipe. Can be difficult, but if you see this, it's nothing, then you've got that information. If you fall, eh, it's not the end of the world. Uh, so yeah, grab the uh, vanilla morph item, use your bombs behind the wall, and then uh, to escape, we're going to need to use um, a double bomb jump uh, because the hole is actually blocked until you do the fight. So, And we do not want to do the fight. <laughs> so we're going to leave... Uh, do some dashes off the beetles, climb up here, we can check what this item is, and it's nothing. Head into Ruin Nursery, and look behind us, and we see that we've got various suit. We've got bombs, uh, so we're going to use double bomb jumps above the, or, uh, yeah, double bomb jumps, and then an unmorph, and then some more bomb uh, bombs to skip the puzzle, do it quicker. Uh, you can watch some videos of someone else doing that. Uh, this is not a trick video. <laughs> Anyways, we've got various suit. So that's really nice. Uh, it might point us to Fendrana, or not Fendrana, um, Magmore, but, but there's still so much to do in Chozo that I don't think it's a good idea to uh, rush that right now. We're still really early. We're only a couple minutes into the seed, realistically. Uh, keep pushing through. We have bombs, so we can actually pick up our first artifact here. And we can also grab this expansion before heading into uh, the Hive Totem Room. And so with that, uh, we're going to dash across, get the expansion, transport access north, get another expansion, head through. And again, we're not going to go into Magmore yet. Even though this is a nice way to get into Magmore, we're not going to go there yet. Head up to Vault, and with our bombs, we get Ice Beam. Uh, so with Ice Beam, start to think about Far Chozo as becoming logic. Uh, once we get Space Jump, Overgrown Cavern, and like the Life Grove area can come up, it's kind of an early place for uh, Ice Beam to be, so it might come into logic sooner than later. Uh, one thing to know, since we've, uh, we're have we now coming out and grabbing this last uh, expansion, uh, we've seen every item in Main Plaza but the tree, so we know it's our artifact because we had the hint. So there's no reason to check the tree. Uh, no space jumps, you have to take the long way around. We head into Ruin Shrine. Uh, or not Ruin Shrine, Ruin Fountain. And peek this item. Know that we're not gonna have to come back here. Cross Arboretum. And without a uh, space jump, I don't mind. Usually we'd climb this room and check this for spider if we had space jump, but we're just going to push through. We're going to get our super missiles. So that's already access to that main plaza. Uh, that main plaza artifact. Super missiles. Mark that off. Thank you. And we push into Watery Hall. And here we're going to uh, do the scans. We see that this isn't anything important. And we're still looking for spider ball before we hit dynamo. So we're going to jump down into the water. And... Realistically, like we're doing this NSJ uh, gravity list, so if you, we do have various, so we're taking a little bit less damage, but if you don't have a lot of E, maybe you're not comfortable with this yet, but uh, I would definitely suggest getting comfortable with the NSJ slope jump uh, for this item. And we pick up X-Ray. Great one to have. Uh, as we head back out, we go into Dynamo, and we see nothing in Dynamo, and we can't see this item, so we have to leave that unchecked. Head back out to Gathering Hall, and we got bombs, so we don't have to worry about a safety save. Push into Burn Dome, grab the Incinerator Drone item and the item behind it, more expansions. Hop out do the uh, energy core puzzle and we're going to uh, do the spider track standable in furnace 
uh, to climb up. We're going to come over and do the uh, the furnace item first. And I don't think it's a good idea to push farther in. Um, we don't have spider to uh, activate anything in Hall of the Elders. We don't have any ways to get to Crossway. Or we have ways to get to Crossway, but no uh, way to grab the item. So if we had some more stuff to do, I would say push in, but I'm going to turn around. Uh, so we see that there's nothing in the top of Furnace. Drop down into Furnace and see that we've got nothing else. Uh, so now we're going to head all the way back. And instead of taking the save warp, which is usually what we do in this situation, since we've got this artifact in main plaza, I'd actually are you to push back and grab this artifact right now. Uh, from here, we got two options. One is head into Talon and then into Magmor. Uh, although it's a little bit of a hike, I think heading this way around Chozo and getting us to uh, getting us to Lava Lake is nice because I like routing from Lava Lake, so we're gonna stay. We're gonna head there first. Uh, so follow the track. Got to remember my own marking is here. We get Lava Lake, or head down towards Lava Lake. Uh, pick up the item here. It's nothing. Push on. And uh, we can open up Triclops Pit. Uh, probably not going to be able to get the item. We have X-Ray and there are some NSJ ways to do it, but pretty tight sometimes. Uh, and we see that it's Spider Ball, which would be nice to have right now. Um, if you know the NSJ method, especially since we have X-Ray, assuming you got it in Watery Hall, um, you could try to get it now. Uh, but if not... I'm not too concerned about it yet. Uh, what that means is that Spider Ball or uh, Space Jump's not going to be behind Spider Ball, so that's that's good to know. It means like we're not going to be missing Space Jump in like Ice Ruins East. Uh, we are going to check security or storage cavern, head back out, and get to uh, monitor station. From here, we're going to head through Shore Tunnel, and we can peek the item down below. See that it's nothing. And at Fiery Shores, we have an artifact. So that's good. That means our uh, upper one, we don't have to worry about it as much. Uh, it's still NSJ, so we're going to have to use the bomb jumps to go around and get this. But that is yet another artifact for us. Heading back. We have to climb this room the slowish way. Try to use dash here to get across. And we go up transport tunnel A and we find our space jump. So, not the end of the world to find it here, but it means we are going to do some backtracking. Uh, we are going to climb up and check out uh, Warrior Shrine first. Uh, if it's nothing, we can turn around. And if you. If you have a power bomb, uh, you can check the upper uh, fire shores item now. Uh, there's a good chance with the amount of expansions we've seen that you might have one. So, uh, and either way, it's not a slow check to do. So we can go around and grab that, assuming you've got the power bomb. Uh, and then we're gonna backtrack for our spider ball, because we definitely want that now. Heading into Fendron, it'll be good to have. Uh, so this is where uh, we've got really one option, which is push into Fen. We're still uh, we're missing Wave Beam, which is going to be our like mid game access. So with that Ice Beam, uh, we've got some stuff left in Chozo, like a. Uh, anti-chamber and like the far chozo loop uh we have x-ray in logic now with the space jump which means that um like great tree chamber 
Uh, but anyways, we're in Fendrana now, and it'll be good to uh, just push on. Uh, in Fendrana, we're going to uh, start by dashing around, peek this item. We see that we've got the artifact up here. We'll get that in a little bit. Uh, unlock this door, head through, climb the room, and you can uh, grab this expansion. Peek this uh, item behind the ice. It's an expansion, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, when you get to the top, you can dash across to the lighthouse. Uh, we have supers and spiders, so we can pick this up right now. So that is artifact number four. And the reason why we did this loop first was we kind of, in case there was plasma beam, uh, would be nice to uh, pick it up as we go to Chozo uh, Ice Temple. Climb the room. Uh, we have supers, so you can actually peek this item. Uh, you'll have to look that one up as well. Uh, and we see that it's expansion, something not important, so we know we don't, don't have to come back for that. And at Chozo Ice Temple, we're greeted with an interesting site, which is main power bombs locked by wave beam. Uh, so this is really good information. Our logical power bombs are locked by wave beam. That means that uh, things like Life Grove uh, won't have light uh, wave beam. Uh, wave beam won't be in uh, Upper Fiery Shores like we saw before. It's not going to be in Magma Pool. There's a few a, a bunch of power bomb checks we can scratch off the list. Uh, if you are comfortable with it, there is a lock pick we can do. Uh, to grab this power bomb, if you, assuming you have, again, assuming you have a power bomb, uh, as you will need one for this, but you can actually open the door, roll away, come back, and lay a power bomb and roll into the room extremely quickly, and you can actually like keep the door in an open state uh, and pick up the power bombs and just walk towards the door and it'll reopen. I have a video on that, so go check that one out. But uh, Let's assume we do do that. We're trying to be competitive and having an extra four power bombs is great to have. Uh, so we get our four power bombs and our mains. So let's just mark that off. Power bombs. Fantastic. So heading out, we then get to head up to uh, Ice Ruins West. And what we're going to do here is you can dash off the uh, snow cone in this direction. And you can bring that all around if you hold R between the dashes. Uh, we head into Cross or uh, Canyon. And see that it's nothing. Turn around. And the reason we do uh, Tal or Fendrana Canyon first is because we don't want to climb Ice Ruins West, drop down do canyon, come back, climb Ice Runes West again. So we jump off the Shigoth or do the slope jump, peek this item, and head into uh, Rune Courtyard. Do the climb. Uh, we've got Spider Ball, so we can take this path. And realistically, you could uh, take a save here and start to do some of those ice checks, like I mentioned before, heading up through Overgrown Cavern. But I want to keep pushing into labs right now because we're not gonna be back here for a little while. Actually, sorry, we don't have wave beam. <laughs> uh, forgot about this, this door here. Uh, so yeah, we check Ice Ruins West, we hop down and we take the save and take the save warp. So sorry about that. Uh, please uh, ignore all of this discussion. <laughs> we will be heading back and taking the save because we don't have wave beam. Uh, so back from Talon, we're going to <laughs> do what I was talking about before. Take our ice beam up through Overgrown Cavern and hit uh, Farchozo. So from here, we can check uh, Antichamber. We can head out, uh, scanning the gate 
here allows us to never have to worry about the uh, post wave layer of Chozo fights. Uh, we can check uh, Hall of the Elders with the Ice Beam slot. It's nothing. We head back to Crossway and we find Gravity. We got Space Jump, so it should be in, uh, an easy claim. Definitely a trick you'll want in your repertoire. From here, we just uh, we just head back, and we're gonna head uh, head into uh, Far Talon. Uh, there's not really a lot <laughs> left to do uh, without Wave Beam, and as we head down, we find our Wave Beam. Fantastic. Uh, so with this. Uh, we've got a couple options. We can either head back and clean up some wave checks. Uh, or we can kind of pursue... Um, there's maybe some out of logic things. Uh, with gravity, uh, things like frigate start to happen, but we still don't have thermal yet, which, ignore this. Uh, but... Since we have gravity, but we don't have thermal, this blocks off a lot of this, but it does mean that Farfindron is open. Um, honestly, what I would do in this situation is I would do probably a uh, bar skip and push into mines. Uh, bar skip, of course, an advanced bomb jump, but uh, is a great one. And if you want to be competitive, you're going to have to learn this trick. Uh, it's not... It's not too hard if you practice. Ask around. People will help you out. Uh, as we head down, because we've got gravity, we can actually check hat really quickly. Uh, this can be something, and this is like one of the best times to check it. So um, just dip in and dip out, and we take our elevator into mines. Uh, so with this, we're now in main quarry. And we can climb the room, check this item. Uh, problem we're going to run into pretty soon is we don't have boost ball for elite research. Uh, so, a couple options. I'm just looking at our remaining artifacts. We've got PMT and gravity chamber. Um, this isn't in logic yet, but thermal could easily be somewhere, putting this all in. Uh, we're going to push on. We unfortunately can't see security at uh, depot A. Climb the room. We can do the elite... Uh, the phase on elite fight I get nothing for it and we can climb the room and we have x-ray so we can actually peek this item and we see that it's nothing that means we don't have to worry about doing the stupid spinner manip <laughs> uh, so we can actually we're probably gonna backtrack we're gonna climb uh, main quarry again dash over check out what grep is in uh, storage depot B nothing we're going to keep heading down. Uh, and let me just follow my path here, the green path. Into ECA, and we find Boost Ball. So that's a sweet find. Um, could have been found later if we hadn't went into mines. So even if we don't find a lot of other things down here, we could actually start to uh, pick up some speed on some opponents, perhaps, uh, just from like a movement advantage. Uh, so we get to head through Elite Control, and the fact that we're down here, I would probably, and we just found Boost, there's two options, there's a split path here, at the very least, you can head into Vent Shaft and peek this item, uh, which is probably what I'd say to do. We're still missing Plasma, and if it's down, there's only two checks down here, and 
while it could be that, um, we're going to hope that it's not. Uh, Metro Quarantine A for Plasma is like the worst location. Uh, so we're going to hope that it's not. <laughs> uh, we're going to head into uh, Plasma Processing Center, which is, I didn't draw a line, but B2B, it's over here. Grab this item. And while we're here, we're going to drop down and check out PCA. And we see, <laughs> actually, we don't have Plasma Beam. Ignore that. We don't see anything. <laughs> we get this item. We climb the room. Head into Magmore. From here, we can peak Workstation. And with our newly acquired Boost Ball, we are going to do a Geothermal Core and look for a Vanilla Plasma. But that's not it. So kind of an unfortunate one. But... Uh, it happens uh, it's a long check for just one item that turns out to be nothing and we're going to head into Fendrana uh, at this point uh, again we have a split of options we can head into um, far Fendrana and grab the artifact um, we can also bet we, we could try to imagine that Grapple Beam is somewhere. We also have Spider Ball to like get out if we fail this dash. So we're going to go after Quarantine Monitor. Um, a pretty easy dash to learn uh, to dash to Quarantine Monitor. Um, as well as if you fall, you've got Spider. Because sometimes for beginners, it's like you want Grapple just to like be able to get back out if you miss the dash. But... Spider, you can do the same. So uh, there's no real risk of going for this. Uh, other than maybe some time loss of having to go around the room. Uh, but we get rewarded with Plasma Beam. Which is great. And it is somewhere on the tracker. P for Plasma. Okay, at this point, we are basically... Uh, go mode we are missing two artifacts and phase on suit uh, we're now going to dash back and rush for the gravity chamber artifact transport access is nothing uh, we're here you could kind of dip in to uh, research core and just take a peek at what this item is it's not too far out of the way so just one thing we can check off for plasma or not plasma phase on suit uh, take the top route, Frost Cave, because we're still going to clear um, Fire Fen while we're here. Uh, boost through, climb up, grab this, grab this, drop down, uh, dash across uh, Hunter Cave, and we always take this route. And the artifact is on the lower item, if it's an E-Tank or something you want. Uh, on the upper item, you can uh, get it with a slope jump. But we're regardless, we're taking a dip in the water. From there, climb out. Head back to Frozen Pike. And from here, we're not going to go into labs. We're still going to push for our artifact, uh, which is in PMT, which is again why I'm kind of betting on it being in mines. Uh, we're going to head back through, take our mines elevator to PPC. And here is the point where we have plasma. We can drop down and we see that plasma or processing center access is our phase on suit. We got bailed out with an excellent peak. And now we know what we need to finish the game. We've already got X-ray in hand. So, we just got to move as fast as possible now. So, climbing back, processing center, uh, phase and processing center, back to B. Need to climb this room, drop through vent shaft. I need to fight the pirate here. At uh, Central Dynamo, uh, we don't have to do the fight and we don't have to do the maze. Um, if you're like really low on health, but Realistically, you should have saved or like healed back here if you were low on health. Uh, so we're just going to dash past the drone. Uh, take the little morph tunnel. 
we head out and across Metroid Quarantine A. We have everything we need to do to cross this the easy way. Down to elevator B. Uh, we can peak fungal hull access. It's not a huge time loss, and if it's um, you know, if you just need a little bit ex extra equipment, an E tank or something, it's a good spot to pick one up. Fungal hull A. We breeze past uh, phase on mining tunnel. Don't have to look back. We know it's an artifact. Fungal hull B. Reach the end. You can also grab this item. Uh, if the Metroids are bugging, you can just lay a power bomb. Uh, slope jump. Uh, Metroid Quarantine B, use your favorite strategy here. Uh, we don't have grapple, so just use an L jump or an R jump or something. Uh, we can grab this item if you're low on expansions or something. We've got supers. You can peek it with X-ray uh, if you're uh, desperate for some more expansions. Uh, otherwise, we head into uh, OP. We can do the super missile strat for the quick kill. And we pick up our phase on suit. From here, uh, actually, we're going to check off phase on suit first. From here, we're going to backtrack through lower mines to PMT and pick up our last artifact. We are officially in go mode. We are going to go back through lower mines again. So this is a, a good chunk of the game to get familiar with. A lot of people don't like practicing lower mines and have a really bad time with it. But as you can see, we went through these rooms three times. So uh, get, get familiar with uh, some strats here. Uh, and we're going to take the save warp because save warp brings us right back where we need to go. So slope jump up to Temple Hall. Blah, blah, blah. Fight Ridley. Uh, Impact Crater isn't on the map, but hopefully you know to, where to go from there. Uh, awesome. So looking at this, uh, all we missed out on for the tracker was Grapple Beam and Thermal. Uh, so Grapple was in Lab Hydra. If you remember, we got cut off way back here uh, with our no wave beam. Uh, so none of Labs was touched, really, except for this little peak here. And Thermal was in uh, Life Grove on X-Ray. And we didn't have boost for this. And Advanced Player might try to do the bomb jumps. Um, yeah, you could do that. Uh, you'd get X-Ray, which would help for final bosses. Uh, but it's not the end of the world that we, we left this. And overall... A pretty solid route. Not a whole lot of backtracking for how uh, late the wave beam was. Um, some other things we didn't do. Tower of Light untouched. Flogra untouched. Pretty usual. Um, Magma Pool I find is usually untouched. Uh, Frigate. Classic. Yeah, there we go. Uh, hopefully that gives you some insight into... What a runner's thinking. Uh, if you like this style of video, let me know. Uh, if you got any comments about this seed specifically and where my mind was, feel free to also uh, tell me. Uh, and if you got any comments about like the format as a whole, also let me know because I want to do more of these to help the community. Uh, but with that, we will see you next mission. Cheers.